Hey folks, and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be doing some fine tuning on old Dale with his exhaust. So stay tuned. So we're gonna give you a couple of before and after sound clips so that we can compare it to the before the resonators and after. So let's take a listen. So as far as I'm concerned, that's got a little bit too much snap, especially when you're under load and you're kind of pulling away and going down the highway. It just snaps really, really loud, especially inside the cab. So we've got a couple of uh, thrush mufflers, some uh, turbo mufflers we're gonna throw on there and uh, we'll show you what they look like and we'll get them in place. So as you guys recall, we did put the AP mufflers on the stainless ones and that's what you're seeing right there. And what we're gonna be putting in is what Tim's got in his hand. So we're gonna have to move the mufflers back to make room for these bottle mufflers. And when I pulled this particular one out of the box, I noticed one thing. Somebody or somewhere did not finish the weld around that seam. So it looks like we're gonna to have to weld that up before we put that on there. And again, all we're trying to do is quiet down the snappiness in hopes that this is enough to do so. It worked on Dad's 36, so we're hoping it'll work on Dale the truck here. So we're gonna get to uh, cutting up some pipe and getting these mufflers installed. So Tim's gonna work on cutting the exhaust to make it fit. In the meantime, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna practice my welding and see if we can't get that sealed up on that end. So it didn't have to be perfect, no one's really going to see that, but it did fill the holes and I think that's going to do the trick. I'm not even going to bother grinding it. So sometimes the big question with these mufflers guys is which direction do they go? They're not labeled in and out. But if you look down in there, it's got some open chambers to kind of what I would say capture the sound and muffle it a bit, but other people say it goes the other way around. Let me know down in the comment section what you think, which way they go. So it looks like he's got the two mufflers installed up here and the direction that we installed them was with the open uh, into the direction of flow. So the openings are facing that way and the exhaust is gonna come through like this obviously and apparently it's supposed to create back pressure and muffle the sound. So that's kind of exactly what we're trying to do. I like the sound of this truck when it idles but when you come onto it, it's blatty. When you're just driving down the highway, it's fine. So we're just trying to tone down that acceleration noise that we have. I heard the torch going. I come out and Tim's got the torch on the muffler trying to get a pipe off by the looks of things. You want me to hold that, Tim? Yep, grab it. Tim's just getting all the exhaust clamps tightened up and we're getting ready to uh, get this thing kind of aligned up and back down the ground and see what she sounds like again. Okay, so we've got the uh, resonators, gloss packs back on there. It's time to see what the difference is with them on. So that definitely quieted it down quite a bit 
And where we're going to notice the difference is when we get out onto the highway and take a rip. So maybe what I'll do is we'll get it off the hoist. I'll get Tim to take it for a little rip down the road and see what she sounds like. So Tim's going to take her for a ride and already just at idle it sounds so much better. Well, it definitely has a lot less bark to it, which I'm okay with, and just the simple, you know, idling and not having that snap, snap, snap. I think this is what I was looking for, and I'm glad that we did that, and it only cost me about a hundred bucks. Also, I'm glad to have Tim back off of vacation because, well, I can allow him to do some of that dirty work instead of me. And, well, look how I'm dressed today. I'm dressed to sell, not dressed to work. So anyways, uh, that's gonna be it for the end of this video. Let me know down in the comment section down below if it's something that you guys enjoyed and if you like the new sound to Project Dale the truck. I guess we can call it quits for this video guys. It's about time that we uh, get focused on some other things. The noise that we've had under light throttle in a previous video is still there. We'll go over all the things that I've changed in attempts to find this noise but anyways at the end of the day that is what it is and uh, we'll get to it at some point the car guy and six fan show has been a huge success as of late we had Dylan McCool on our channel this past Thursday evening and man what a crowd and what a time if you missed that episode you can go right up here and check that out and see what the fuss is all about we have big guests we have big names that have been joining us on the channel here for the Car Guy and Six Fan Show for season four. Myself and Grant Tommy, who is my co-host, we alternate each week the hosting duties on our YouTube channels and his information is in the link below. I hope you go check that out and subscribe to his channel as well. Guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rear of your mirror. I love you, God bless. We're gonna do it again real soon. <laughs>